Hello, I'm sorry we're behind on the SAP videos, but I've been fighting for my life out here, man. I'm at 1597, top 2%. I've been playing a little bit on stream, but the the gamers brought the heat with this weekly, okay? If you haven't seen us play on stream at all, I still, last week, by the end of it, I felt like I came up with a strat um, that I was, I was basically on a flywheel, okay? I was executing a loop. I'll be the first to admit it. I was executing a loop every game. The loop got me good results. The results reinforced my desire to use the uh, loop. And I ended up climbing pretty high. We, were, we ended at like 1580 something. And then that doesn't get reset week to week. So we're starting at like 1580 this week. This week has been... I have an idea of what kind of archetype I like thus far. Um, and it's clownfish, jellyfish scaling. And there's a little bit, you know what? This is an interesting idea. I've never had the opportunity to level up this early before. Give me a door head ant. Um, I have an idea of what I like and uh, I have an idea of what I don't like, which is getting beaten <laughs> by teams that are better than me. Although it does give you, see, you learn something sometimes. I think it's a good weekly so far, but it is like, when the scaling comes out, it gets serious. But there are some unique kind of tricks you can use, I think, to help yourself out. Like, this is the first week I've ever seen, like, the nurse shark. Is it nurse shark? What, do you, what even are you? Where, where are you? I'll find it in a second. The one that spends trumpets to do damage equal to double the amount of trumpets it spent on faint. I know that what I just said sounds like it makes no sense. Where are you in here? There you are. It is Nurse Shark. Spend up to six trumpets and deal triple as damage to one random enemy. Yeah. That one, it's, it has a certain je ne sais quoi this week. What can I say? Certain je ne sais quoi. For now, I think, although it doesn't give us a level. Not getting a jellyfish here, by the way, is, cap, is capybara. I was going to say catastrophic. But I'm also looking for a capybara so I can see how the words got confused. Pug buffs Doorhead Ant because the leveled up beaver doesn't do anything for us. We level up next turn with the beavers. Pray you get a capybara. I would accept a camel. I would accept a clownfish. I would accept a blobfish. I would accept a leech. I might even accept a starfish. Now that I, hey, now that I'm not trying to banter, like at the same time that I'm playing the game, so close. I'm actually realizing, hey, I'm building a model. The tier three unit is very important. That's the first thing I've realized. Jellyfish is insanely important, man. I'm, I'm sorry to the doorhead ant, but we gotta make the space so that we don't miss a trigger, I think. We did get a capybara, okay. Now another, um, another jellyfish or another otter would go crazy. Another otter, <laughs> bog, okay. Why is that important? Well, because now the jellyfish can get a second trigger, which admittedly is not that amazing, but now with where we're at, the jellyfish is something, if you can get it to level two early and level three, not soon after that, I think this could give us some value here, okay? Now I understand different people like different things in SAP, okay? Some people like the arena more. I may eventually decide I like the arena more. It does feel a little bit more wide open and the strategies for winning are different. Let's go. Like, you don't have to build a team that survives into the long term if you're able to win enough early. That's pretty big, too. I think you gotta go. I would love to run two cappies. Well, maybe that's the... Maybe we sell you and we start running. No, no, no. Because you just run this for now. You don't need to over-invent. Now I'm gonna run two cappies. <laughs> or, or two clownfish, I should say. And maybe, because you're about to level up, give me one of these on you, and this is a fine place to be, I think. Um, ranked seems a little bit more like, you know, you know where you want to be um, when you're in the top half. You know you know what works in the early game, what works in the mid game, what works in the late game, but the be all end all for winning is having a squad that either scales or has like superior equipment in the late game. And you could be going around 20, you could be going around 25, um, depending on how drawish the meta is. Right now, I apologize for running very similar teams in, you know, every uh, arena with which we have access to here, but I got to do what's right for me. You know, I got to, I got to, I mean, I'm a, a noted figure, okay? I'm not trying to brag, 
I'm a known quantity in the Super Auto Pets world. I'm kind of like John Wick. I'm going to go crazy on this one. I'm kind of like John Wick if John Wick wasn't the scariest man in the John Wick universe. <laughs> but there was still a $10 million bounty out on his head. Everybody, when they see Lord Spelunky in the lobby, six people go, I don't know who that is. And one person goes, they're leaning forward with the controller in their hand. So I got to... I got to execute my own algorithm here, okay? To, to, because when I, first off, I've got a very fragile ego. So seeing the number goes up feels good, but seeing it go down, that does, that hurts more than twice as much as seeing the same amount of the number go up. Um, and also, I'm catching heat. If I ever come in second in a lobby, which happens all the time, which is actually kind of a positive statement now that you think about it, but, if I ever come second in a lobby, people are like, are he last, is he last night's dishes? Because he's so washed. Because he's washed. Uh, they're not that good at trash talking. I, of course, am the best ever at it. But So I got to protect myself a little bit here, okay? Will we ever get into the funky archetypes? I, I don't know, okay? But for now, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm feeling darn good right now. It's a good looking team. Now, the jellyfish must scale. Apologies to the clown. Oh, I should have sold the pug. Oh, it would have been worth another, another two buff. Another two, two. Eagle also kind of goes crazy this week, I think. Clownfish. I don't have enough gold. <laughs> okay, well then freeze it then. I think we've got to talk about crow too. I think this week is very experience driven. I think a crow could be of the utmost importance, especially if you can get your jellyfish to level three ASAP. So how do I want this squad to look? Something like that. Maybe eagle at the front just to mess with them a little bit. Now, this is something that's been happening to me a lot this week. I've got everything in the shop frozen, essentially. I don't love paying five gold for a chocolate, by the way, but... It beats rolling twice to buy a chocolate for three because a bird in the hand is worth two in the wherever. I guess it would be the bush because we're on the forest map here. Um, what was I talking about? Sorry, I got distracted. Let me look at some other teams. Dragonfly is scaling, but our jellyfish probably clears you. You're a scare. Whoa! No, no, no. Don't make me do it. Don't make me fight the sloth, man. I can't bring... Can I just... I want to bring a spotlight to something when we get back into that lobby, by the way. Who is this? Larry Lovestein? You deserve all the credit in the world. And I'm being sincere when I say this. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying you deserve all the credit in the world. You know why? A lot of people would have said, forget the sloth. Who cares? I don't know if that was the right move now that I look at it. <laughs> a lot of people would have said, no, 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 no. The sloth is just a little a notch in my bedpost and I'm just a line in a freaking song, okay? You said going for gold is the only thing that matters unless you get platinum. And you found some platinum, okay? So I give you the utmost respect. Now that being said, like me versus DL Guiga on a Peloton ride, if I go up against you, I'm not hitting the resign button, okay? Because I, if I had the sloth, I wouldn't want you to hit the resign button on me. Because then that would cheapen the victory sensation that you would get for winning with a sloth because you'd be like, oh, they just let me have it, okay? It's like being a little kid at a Scrabble tournament. No one's playing anti-disestablishmentarianism against you. They're all putting out, like, you know, cup. No, 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 no. I'm going to make you regret that, okay? But first, I got to get through Marketus. <laughs> I'm still, I'm stoked about my jellyfish and we're going to the moon. That was a tactical loss before. Okay, a little death touch in my life. Nobody's going to be running melon up at the front. Oh, you're kind of, well, I, but I, I got to, I, I like the death touch here. Take some garlic. We should probably sell you and get a cow next turn, but let's see what we've got available. Another level up for our jellyfish. Chocolate goes crazy. Okay, I still like our team. Admittedly, this is where I usually fumble. Now, I haven't been, like, horrible this week, just for the record. Like, my rating... Like, I felt like last week we were, like, tick, 
ticka, 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 ticka. We were like climbing most rounds. And then occasionally we get like a little, and then we go ticka, ticka, ticka. This week is like, boom, bing, bing, boom, bing, bong, boom, boom, boom. Like we're, we're volatile. We're like the NASDAQ in 2022. You know, you wake up, you check your phone, it's up 3%. You go take a pee halfway through the stream and you're like down two and a half. What the heck happened? Then you finish the day and you're like, I don't even want to look. And you're like up, up three basis points. We do, you got to wake up and, on Wall Street and run that back tomorrow. All the stress you had today wasn't even worth anything. I'm not in the business. So I just say, God bless. <laughs> but my Google Finance app is hitting me with the API rate limit exceeded. I'm just joking. This way, I'm just... Larry, Larry, I done. listen, above all else, you have my, you also have my respect for running the nurse shark, Larry. I'm, I honestly hope that it's you and me in the final two. And I'm not going to lie to you, Larry. I hope that I win. But I hope it's you and me in the final two. I do. I would love a leopard that scales. I'm going to give it a try. We got the HP to possibly make it work. But then what are you doing with this cow? You're doing nothing with the cow, as you've so definitely understood. Maybe we sell Capybara soon. Maybe we sell Capybara right the frick now. Start buffing the you-know-what out of this lad. Yeah, you know what? The important thing with Death Touch, we need to have a Death Touch that does more than 20 damage. Because otherwise, it'll beat a green pepper, which is nice. But a, a death touch under 20 damage will lose to a melon. But I'm not sure if there's any melons available here. Now, Marketus, I know they beat us earlier. But I'm looking at this and I'm saying level one chicken, you know, jellyfish, level two monkey. I think we can outscale that squad, even though they have the, the level two monkey. I'm hoping somebody crushes them. Though... <laughs> I don't know about all these other teams yet. I'm going to have to... A skunk is obviously scary because we're pretty front-loaded with just the jellyfish here. But we got great odds. Like, we have three life left. We got great odds of finishing in the top half, which means that's an ELO gain as far as I'm concerned. And I think a, a, a leopard is kind of a... It's a counterpick to some extent. Let's go. I knew it. I knew it. No offense, Marketus. So no offense. A leopard is kind of a unique counter pick this week because you should try it for now. Um, it snipes, which breaks defensive equipment. I mean, in some situations, I suppose it could even break offensive equipment. We probably got to talk about selling eagle or clownfish. I mean, clownfish has done good work for us, but 4-4 is not moving the needle too much these days. Um, we got still, still some strong teams here. I'm Larry. I'm so sorry. I can I just say, you shouldn't regret taking the sloth. Top half finish with the sloth, and you, you, for all I know, maybe you got like three instances of death touch coming out here, and I'm going to regret my words. But either way, I salute you, and I hope that I have the courage to do the same thing if the situation ever arises. Level two Niala. That's, that's a rough one. That's going to be a nasty unit. That's going to be a team that's tough for us to deal with. Larry, it was a, it was a, an, the honor is all mine and the pleasure was all mine, okay? Hi, Tomo. This is, one-ups are kind of good this week, but this is not the squad you want when you're talking about one-ups. Niala is kind of the squad you want when you're talking about one-ups. You got to think about this. Well, okay, listen. We have two life, and I'm thrilled by that. I think we're saying it's round 12. The garlic is not that relevant anymore. We're gonna... We can find a way to run five squatted and get a level three cheetah out there. I guess we could also just go level two tiger. I'll run the numbers on that one. But I, I wanted to overwrite the death touch. Or overwrite our thing with that. Oh, God, please, please, please. No! <laughs> we were so close. Um, because I, I think I need you to have death touch rather than garlic. But maybe, maybe that's not true given what we just went through. Okay, I'm not crunching the numbers, by the way, as you can see for yourself.
Hi, Tomo. What's, what seems to be the issue, lad? Let me look at my opponent's squads. Double coconut armor? <laughs> In that case, we would want to run... Well, we do have a leopard. I think you could let it fly, man. I think you could run this. I know this looks crazy. I think if we end up going up against the undercover doggies, this is going to be a loadout that's going to serve us well. We just need our leopard to actually hit at least the front coconut armor, I think, so our death touch doesn't fizzle. And we, ha we have a 3 in 5 chance of hitting the front unit at least once, or hitting the front unit at all. And then we have another 1 in 5 chance. So I don't know, at the end of the day, what are the odds that we don't hit it once? It's like 38% or something. Okay, now the problem is we didn't even end up going up against that individual. <laughs> that being said, we clear these! Ah, uh, but, but they weren't able to knock them out. Okay, so that might all be fruitless. It might all be for naught, but we're doing what we can, right? This is not good. Hi, Tomo, don't go by the computer, please. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Another lemur, please. It really has to be, like these units are not good unless you got a lemur associated with the squad. Like a level one skunk is not gonna do it. Here's the deal, brother, I'm sorry to tell you, none of these units are gonna do it. So we, all we can really do is, is toss out a, uh, a level two tiger and hope for the best. And I don't, I don't think changing our order is gonna do much here. They've only got a, Oh no, they still have one coconut armor. I thought it was two, but it was actually on a turn timer of two. So we'll definitely be breaking some armors. I mean, we'll be doing some good sniping and then replacing garlic with melon, maybe when they're on, we're onto their scalers in the back. First place is a bit of a pipe dream right now, but to finish in second would be, I would be thrilled. Either way, we're gaining like ranking points. In third, we're probably gaining like two points, but it's something, man. Plus, we should just say, like, anytime you get the chance to run a level 3 Leopard, it's a good day. Such a late unit, you don't get the chance to level it up all that often. They don't even have the coconut armor anymore. We came in second. Holy cow. It's rare at this stage of the game to pull it back from the abyss. <laughs> no, no, it's still, we don't have the kind of scaling to run a Highland Cow now. It's a very tough world we're living in. Only a few things will change the game for us. It's too late to get a monkey started. It sounds ridiculous, but I almost feel like you could maybe start building another leopard. You can... Oh, okay, well, you have to bail on this, <laughs> and you have to run Death Touch. But then I can only see what you just had, and you're running a green pepper. I'm going to keep this as is. I'm going to see how you feel about this. Let's see. You, you, by all accounts, it, it, it's a tough one for all of us here. Never mind, I think that was astute. Holy cow, we got him down to two life. Keep it running. The, the problem with this is obviously that we have none scaling. And I'm not going to even talk about the left beef, okay? To put something else out here, it needs to be transformative. And there's like not many transformative units. We could just be buying food. And honestly, there's a case to be made for that. Honestly, probably one of the best things we could do is get a leveled up lemur. Mongoose, sorry. That's bad. Um, so that we could maybe get double death touch. And that could change the game even further. I'm just going to... I'm going to act like they're not going to adjust their team for game theory purposes. Because... Maybe there's a little Daniel Kahneman-esque logic here, but I don't want to adjust my team thinking that you're going to adjust your team and then you choose not to adjust your team because then it feels like I've taken ownership of the fact that I've lost, I've made the decision that caused us to lose, whether that's valid or not. Whereas here, I made a decision that possibly led me to lose, but it doesn't feel that way because I my decision was in action. <laughs> Plus six though. We, we take those, man. And then we queue up again. Just reset our ranking here. 1603. Still top 2%. It's hard out here, man. It's a hard world. 
some of these names, man. Can I just say it's nice to be recording instead of streaming? Because every time I stream, uh, all of the names are some inside joke from my stream or some variation of like, you get the idea. Board of Spelunky, Fjord of Spelunky, Ryan Gary, Bald, Bald, Bald. I feel like I'm actually... <laughs> What do you mean, please try again later? <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, it worked. Press any key. Boop. The freaking game sucks. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right, anyway. It just feels like now I'm, I get the, the normie experience in Super Auto Pets, you know? Instead of having to fight for my freaking life! every Because everybody's... I'm not saying they're all stream sniping me. And then like looking at my team and going like, oh, this is the exact key that will open that lock. But I am saying, you know, if you're playing one-on-one -on -one against, you know, Bill from accounting, you're probably like, dunk, 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 dunk. If they're like, hey, a dude who used to play Division One basketball is showing up at the Y for pickup this week, you're going to be like, there's an asymmetry from a game theory perspective is what I'm trying to say, okay? I love it. Please give me any, almost anything from tier three is pretty good. These are the exceptions. Okay, so we'll take flea. <clears throat> sure, I think a second one of these is, is something at least. I mean, I think Stork has not really like given me any fits this week, but I think in general, it's a unit I always enjoy having on the team, at least for a bit. It's crazy that it's like a lower tier than Spider, but much better than Spider. Hi, do you see Tomo up there? Hi, Tomo. I wanted to be clear, by the way. I'm, I have the flea under duress. I would much rather have had a jellyfish or clownfish, capybara, et cetera, et cetera. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I think Pug is is certainly playable this week. You can tell because every team we went up against uh, last game had a Pug on their team. It's an interesting little so-and-so right here, wouldn't you say? If anything, maybe we want to Stork behind the thing that generates weakness, but because you're going to go first, you're going to be like a freaking... You're going to be strong. You're going to be a strong lad. Now, we don't have the same kind of momentum as like a clownfish or a jellyfish will have. But that's the interesting thing about Super Auto Pets, you know? You can't play the same squad every time. So it makes it fresh. You have to play one of two viable squads every time. And then you, if you lose with the other viable squad, you go, oh, of course, they beat me with clownfish, jellyfish. I was merely running Niala, one up, Pteranodon, Nurse Shark. And if you lose with that, you go, oh, well, of course they were running Pteranodon, Nurse Shark, Niala. But like, you get the idea. Mm. Hey, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Can you get out of the cords? It's just I don't understand the fascination of the cords. Saved, saved by the most unlikely of heroes. Okay, we need, um, well, we need some stuff that's better than this. That's for certain. Can you get, can you get out of the course? Um, me personally, everything looks like it's going okay right now, but this is sort of a dead end right here. I think we are not getting Clownfish Jellyfish. We also don't have Camel Leech, which is like another popular setup this week. So we need to do something. Okay, I think, I, I think, I mean, it's only turn five, but things, life comes at you fast, right? I think we're going to be looking at trying to get like a skunk popping or maybe next turn, next, next round, whatever. Um... Next tier, if one will. You got me, kid. This is a strong team. Put a banana on a unit and then pill it. We need the level. Like, we need the, we need the gas. You're no longer as good as I need you to be. Nor are you. 
stealing a buff from our only viable unit. It just... I'm not thrilled about this pivot because it's like so late to get a clownfish out there. But it is what it is. We got we to gotta do with what we got here, okay? So I'm thinking the, the next... We, we can't just think about like surviving this round as much as I would like to. We need to think about doing something that gives us a chance of competing with teams like from the mid-game onwards. So we'll probably lose this round, if I had to guess, versus a team of average strength. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I think that team was a below average strength. Um, but this is where things could start to come together. And it has to be like, Blobfish is pretty nice, but a level into like a, I don't even know. What would I be looking for? Eagle? That's not good. Um, in theory, chicken is good. You know what? We're going to try it. And this might cost us, but... I'm so sorry. Um, and you kind of need to be closer to the front, which is very unfortunate. But you don't need to be here then. You could be... You, okay. Okay. Then, like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is this is really bad. My I, my dream is to get this chicken to pop off, and get it to level two. Um, at which point, it will scale everything in our shop a lot. But I think that I think that this might be one of the most viable opportunities we have. But I don't think we have the squad necessary to provide safety for us. We don't have a rich father that can you know pay for all of our stuff while we're finding ourselves. Okay, we need to like. We need to get the show on the road. <laughs> and the show is not on the road, man. We're on two life, but it's it's like too late to pivot and it's too late to stick to. So these are scary times. Obviously not what you're looking for. Another pill is what we're looking for. You're gonna level, that's meaningless. Oh, we're cooked, we're cooked. Please, okay, there's six people. Wait, there's seven people, no, there's six people alive. I'm in like full copium mode. I'm, a, I'm like, at least we're not coming in eighth. <laughs> the worst part is we're not even scaling well. Okay, like I don't even wanna know what's going on with this seagull team, but it scares me, of course. I guess they're gonna have one-ups and then this yak is gonna go crazy or this ox. Actually, you know, I'm looking at the other teams. Their scaling's not crazy except the jellyfish, and we just went up against them, so I don't know how the target selection works in this, but we, we went up against them again. We probably would have lost to almost any team we went up against, so, like, I'm not going to cry, but... But wah, wah. Pill. Thank you so much. This is too late, um, and... Probably not good enough to begin with. I do have to say, like, that's a relatively strong leopard. You're gonna go first, huh? Our order is, like, tough. <laughs> just, if we could just survive to the top half, man, I would, <laughs> it would change my life. I really think we gotta say goodbye to the 1-1 one -one buffs. Obviously, you can't be at the back anymore. Uh, I guess the closer you are to the front, the better. Maybe you should just be the dude at the front then. And the whole kitten caboodle that we got going on here is maybe this leopard could scale fast enough. I mean, we have no scaling. We have, well, no, it's not true. We have scaling, but it's only in the shop. But that's good because all the units we have on our person are pretty bad right now. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's merciful that they're all... No, we're cooked. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think we... I mean, there's a combination of things. This is going to hurt. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. Uh, um, I think we honestly didn't get the through line for good shops, and we lost too much early for the chicken team to have a chance, if it ever had viability to begin with. But I still had fun. And don't let me hear you say he always runs the same team. I wanted to run the same team, but we didn't get the sauce, so we ran a new team and we got bodied. That's why I try to play the same team. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Up's a great deal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.